Right. Ooh, first time ever. Episode zero. Yeah, so basically we just want to talk a bit about what's coming up in this new season. Um, so, as we've discussed in previous episodes from the season one stuff, we're going to be doing 100% Pokemon completion as far as this game within each generation can go. So that means we can use silver and gold to bring Pokemon in, and that is it. We have to complete the Pokedex as far as physically possible before we do the Pokemon League, and complete the Living Dex as far as physically possible before the Pokemon League. Uh, post Pokemon League, we have to also then push Pokedex as far as it can go with all the Pokemon within those two games. Get the Living Dex as far as it can be gone within those two games. All the legendaries, all that kind of stuff. To what I understand, there are no Nintendo events in this one, so we don't need to worry about that. There are some events which require specific, like, event Pokemon from Diamond and Pearl. We will get those at the end of the game. I will purposely go and play uh, Pearl on this, just so we can send in... I'm going to have to move that there, I'm going to keep looking at my uh, top monitor. Yeah, I'm going to consistently uh, play Pokemon Pearl. We'll get those specific Pokemon. I believe it's... You need a Palkia, a Dialga, uh, Celebi is one. That one might be a bit trickier. We might need to do a run for that. Uh, I think that's it. There's also one for a, if you've got the, the spiky tail pea shoot, spiky eared pea shoe. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for it as well, but just because it's something we can view. But outside of that, that is it. We cannot bring in Pokemon from Damna Pearl just to complete the Pokedex because they weren't Gen 2. Uh, so, like I say, this game will be literally just the silver and the gold put together what we can, complete that Pokedex as far as those games can physically be taken with no cheats. We're not allowed cheat codes, we're not allowed any kind of game sharks, I'm not allowed to clone Master Balls, I'm allowed to trade Pokemon from gold into a play of silver, but as long as it's within like within reason of like Pokemon you can't catch, so things like the version exclusives, that's what I'm trying to get down to saying, version exclusives. Things like Lugia and Ho-Ho, you can technically, technically get them with both within each game. So I will get one free Pokemon League and the other one with post Pokemon League because I can get it. I don't need to trade it in from the other game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, is basically because it's available within the game post Pokemon League, it would be kind of cheating if I brought the other one in because then I'd have two of it. So we're not going to trade that in, but things like, uh, we'll be trading for like the evolution trades, like Machamp, Alakazam, etc, etc. Uh, the version exclusives they'll definitely be traded but then it's, it's like I say it's about completing this generation so once we've finished everything we can physically complete in these two games I will clone my Leaf Green from last season and we'll use the Pal Park to bring forward everything that we need to complete the Pokedex up to Gen 2 you know if there's uh, some of the Gen 3s and Gen 4s that are in that game which I haven't got then I'll bring them forward I, I think I've got a couple Maybe, but yeah, it looks like this is about finishing Gen Two off in a Gen Four console. So anything from Gen Three or Gen Four, we're not too worried about. If if they're in the game, obviously we need to get them to complete the Pokedex because they are physically available to us. But there is no worry about that. Cause it's it's we're, we're at season two, not season three or four yet. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's basically the rundown of it. Is you know, it's our standardized rules of like no cheating. No bringing in Master Balls. If we do trade exclusives, no Master Balls, rare candies, etc, etc. Uh, we're not allowed to bring in any item which could be cloned, so we, so we can't bring in a, spare, a second XP share. And how to get that, I've actually run into that already. Um, you know, nor can we trade in things like, well, in the previous game, like the Mushrooms, so we can use the Move Tutor. Uh, so we can use the Move Tutor. So it all has to be purely from within this game, unless it is an item specifically in gold. So if, say, there's, I don't know, right, I remember back in Gen 1, if you traded the Pikachu for Pokemon Yellow into Silver Gold, you got the Yellow Orb, I think it was called. It was the only way to get that item. That is the only kind of thing we can trade it. If it is an item that is specifically in gold that cannot be found in Silver, then we're allowed to trade it in. Uh, apart from, obviously, Master Balls. Uh, is there anything else that needs to be covered? No, I think that's it. Uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. Uh, I, you know, I've mentioned this a couple of times in my other videos that we've uh, we've played around with the sprites. 
So uh, you may find in this season that all of a sudden we'll get to a point where it's like, oh, we need to get past, I don't know, this particular thing here. We need to, well, at this moment from what I know, from what I've done so far, say we need to get to a point, oh, oh, we have to surf. Oh, I guess we have to play next time, guys. That's more specific. If I ever get to a situation like that where you know I'm about to do something and then just abruptly go, yeah, we're done. We're, we're not playing any further. It's because I don't have the sprites ready. Uh, I mentioned in High on Life, which should be out way before, which, well, it is definitely out way before I put this out, uh, that um, we don't have surf done yet. We don't have the biking. We don't have the content, well, the contests outfits done. As far as I'm aware, everything else is finished, other than the bag 3D Mark Linkers. So we, we talked about this on the Discord. You physically can't do that. It's the, the code for the cameras and such are highly tied into the uh, the model itself. Uh, to what somebody was saying, it was like encoded into the polygons of it. So if the polygon isn't specifically in this location, uh, uh, these exact coordinates with this little bit of coding on it, it breaks the entire thing and it just crashes the game immediately. So, in the interest of not breaking the game, I mean, I'm having to spend a couple months trying to figure out codes and 3D modeling. Like I said, I've already made the model for Raven. She, she would look great. I, I may reveal it as a bonus down the line, but it's a shame. So, we won't be editing that one. But everything else is already done. I've already done the summer sprites. I've made sure that the bird works. Uh, what else? So we've done all oh, the walks, the runs. So... No, I have done surf. I finished surf. I did surf so that way we could do the fishing rod. We haven't got fishing. Yeah, we're missing fishing and the bike. Yeah. But anyways, outside of that, um, everything else is done. So <laughs> yeah, you're going to start seeing recordings for this. So it'll probably be a couple of days post me putting this video down. I mean, I am literally recording this with the idea of posting it. Well, as you guys can now see, it's going straight after season one as my intro for season two. Uh, so hopefully the first episode will be in the next couple of days. Uh, pretty much immediately after I'm done recording this, I'm going to start recording season two because, well, I'm ahead on season one. I, I finished recording that. It's it's ready. It's sat on YouTube. Uh, well, apart from four episodes, which are on my laptop currently. I just, you know, four colors in the net were slow. It's taken a while. Uh, um, right now, I'm actually trying to upload a high on life episode here it's a bigger bit of data when I record this I'm trying to record set up a high on life episode for a few guys it's in the last half an hour I've got about 20% is it really? is it not 20% and a half? no it's on 12 no it's gone up 10% great 10% and a half an hour so we're looking at 12% an hour it should be uploaded by morning so that will be ready for its dead for its deadline. I'm trying to avoid saying what day, which we don't know what it is. So I hope you guys all enjoy this season. And so if you've got any suggestions, comments, queries, or anything like that that you want to put forward to me, say let me know in the comments. Um, say do remember, I did reveal this in the original Pokemon. I'm going to state it again here so everyone remembers it. I will be putting bonus content in this, um, not bonus content, I will be putting a bonus code in this. If at any point you hear me say secret code followed by a word, remember that word. I will give out four secret words throughout this season and at about the midpoint I will give out a contact point and if you quote all four codes, well all four code words to that contact point we will put you into a massive list and we will send you a Steam code for a game I'm currently building and programming myself. You know, it's it's a little while off being ready, so that's that's why we're we're delaying giving out the game. But that's just, like I said, it's because I'm a terrible coder. I, I've got a lot of the game done. I've got most of the framework, the backgrounds, and blah 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 blah, blah done. I just I'm working on the actual game itself, trying to make it bug free. And something I was taught, you, know, you basically got a test lab, literally everything like. But if they want to put a name in here, are they going to try and enter a space? And how will the game react to that? And if, or will they put letters or numbers or characters or capitals or whatnot? Or just not enter anything. How will the game react so you can make this thing as idiot proof as possible? Do you don't want people crashing it in the first like day? 
So yeah, free copy of the game. If you remember, if you can quote all four of my codes, there is not one in this video. <laughs> I might not even say it myself. There might just be a little thing like floats up in the corner somewhere. I think my box will be here, which has all my counters. It might appear in there. It might appear as like text on the screen at the bottom down here is like the the game trying to tell you, you know, I talk to an old man and, oh, this is how you catch a Pokemon. Secret code watermelon. That is not a secret code. No, do not use that one. <laughs> is there no secret codes in this episode. It's that episode one onwards. Watermelon is not a secret code. I've already got the secret code ready for you guys. It is, it's, 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 it's nothing special. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy this new season. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. I, I haven't played Pokemon Silver and Gold for many, many years. I, last time I played it, I was well, year six. I was maybe ten or eleven years old <laughs> about when it first came out. I, I actually played more Crystal then. Uh, say, then uh, season three, as I've explained before, season three. We're jumping back a generation, we're going to do Pokemon Emerald, Season 3.1, we'll do Stadium 3.2, we'll do Coliseum, you know, amalgamate all the Pokemon into one game, use the original green to complete the Pokedex up to Gen 3, which should be possible between all those games, I'm sure. Everything in that generation does complete the Pokedex, and then we'll move on to Diamond and Pearl, and then we'll do the same thing of moving everything into that game, which should be a lot easier since most of it will be on Silver and Gold already. So anyway, I've rambled on enough. Uh, I mean, this little intro to the game is nearly 12 minutes long, so I'll leave you to it. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Enjoy the ride. I'm here to play the game. You're here for the ride in a bit.